Okay, in this session, we're going to look at something that applies to all of the applications in, in Office, not just Word. But in this, the example I'm going to be using, the example application I'm going to use is Word. But just bear that in mind. We're going to be looking at a topic which is new to 2007. It's called contextual spell checking. Um, I probably need a spell checker to spell that. But in terms of spell checker, you've probably used it several times over. But the way that contextual spell checking works is really, really clever. And it's, I, can, I can simply explain it with... The, with the, a sentence that I've actually typed in, a couple of sentences that I've typed into a Word document I've got prepared, and you can tell me what's wrong with it. And we can have an argument as to whether Office is correct in its analysis of my spelling or whether you're right. So I'm simply going to open up my documents, where I happen to have some documents stored, and I'm going to open up a document called Contextual. This is not on your machines. I want you to just look at it on mine. There we go. Hopefully I won't need to zoom that in for those of you watching on SmartLearn, but just have a look at those. Now, the first thing you should notice as soon as you see those, um, those sentences is that there's something missing underneath the sentences. Now, if there was a spelling mistake or a spelling problem, you would normally see some lines underneath, either blue or red, normally a red line underneath to say there's a spelling mistake. And there isn't any, so obviously I'm doing quite well. How about I force the spelling checker to, to check the spelling of that? So I'm going to move my mouse over to review, and then I'm going to hit right down here I'm going to hit the button called spelling and grammar check and it's come back with the message that says your spelling and grammar check is complete well quite a few people would argue with that how do your two roles complement each other sounds about right except the fact that the word complement is spelt wrong in this particular case it should be a complement with an e in the here not an i but the word complement is actually spelt correctly because there are two words there are two complements I want a piece of cake well, obviously, that's peace to mankind, war and peace, not peace, the one that we want in this sentence. And again, I will see you there. There is spelt right, but not the type of there that we want. So I think you've all got the idea. If, you've spelt, uh, if, you, if your spelling is actually technically correct, however, you've chosen the wrong variation of that word in your spelling, neither the spell checking function in Office, nor the grammar checking function in Office will pick up on those, and they didn't before. Now in Office 2007, you can enable an option called contextual spell checking. So what we need to do is we need to go up to the Office button and come down to Word Options, which is here, because we're using Word. If you're using another tool, it would be in there. And once the Word Options have appeared, up near the left hand side you'll see a whole series of options here or, or menus for which we can make changes in, in, in terms of the options. If we go to proofing and come down you'll see one that says use contextual spelling and it's disabled by default. A lot of people will find that it's something they expected to run because they'd heard about this function existing in Office 2007 but doesn't seem to work and that's why because it's off by default. So if we tick that and then go down to the bottom here, which is OK. And then zoom out, you'll suddenly see that blue lines start to appear. Complement has been picked up as an issue. Peace has been picked up as an issue. And there has as well. So if I right click on complement, it'll say this is the right version of complement you should have had. Complement with an E, not an I. I'll choose that. Again, if I choose peace and right click, it says we should use peace and not that type. And again, down here, if I right-click, it's there, not there. OK, does any, anyone have any questions with that? Yeah, I have. Andy. I thought the grammar check would normally pick up on some of those issues. Grammar check in all previous versions and this version. Yeah. You've got to be careful as to what each of the, fun each of the proofing tools are looking for. Spelling is looking for technical accuracy of the words themselves. Grammar checks looks for syntactical correctness. So are the words in the right order? Okay. Have you used too many of a word? So for example, I will see you, you there tomorrow. Two you's in the same word, in the same sentence right next to each other is syntactically incorrect. Okay, but, the, but spelling wouldn't pick that up because you is spelled correctly. Contextual spell checking doesn't, is, is something, it does something that neither spelling nor grammar checking does. Right, okay. Okay. And it was it even hidden somewhere in 2003? Was, was contextual spell checking hidden in 2003? No. As a function, as a method, as, as a way in which to check your spelling, it didn't even exist as a, as a method. Okay, no more questions? Good, it's the end of that session.